welcome to a very odd episode of the No Format Required. I don't know if you could hear that. That is me in my car. I've just finished the night shift and my car's not starting. Why are you starting? There we go. Um, and it's going to be a very odd one because there's no Charlie. Where's Charlie, you say? He's probably about 10 minutes away because we're both going to attempt a solo episode because we failed to record anything, even though I promised. We did attempt uh, yesterday night, um, but I've got no idea how to record us speaking on mobiles to each other because I was going to, well, we both, I took my um, microphones to work. Oh God, it's sunny. I can barely see. It's bright this time of morning. It's 7.20 currently. Fun, fun. So yeah, I just finished the block of three night shifts. Uh, which way am I going to go? I'm going to go this way. Yeah, just finished the block of three night shifts. And um, I'm off to get a couple of hours kip before me and my wife go and pick up my son. I say pick up my son. We're going to go to my parents for a few days. Um, it's Wednesday currently. We're going to go until Friday, so that'll be nice. Uh, he's been with them since last Saturday when it was Charlie's birthday. Uh, so that's been, I say it's been a break. I've been working continuously and my wife's been doing stuff as well. So actually we've been quite busy, but it was a perfect time for him to go, really. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. Me just chatting on my own for the next 15 minutes. I'm going to give it a go. Uh, what are you doing, Carl? Yeah, so what's new going on with my life? Nothing. I've got exams coming up, which is always fun. Uh, those Previously, we had a little break, didn't we, when I was doing my um, portfolio for this. Now I've got exams. Got to revi- do lots of revision. It's um, hematology, a higher specialist exam. And when you ask the examiner what in hematology to revise, the answer is hematology, which is wonderful because I don't know if you lot know anything about hematology who's listening. It's a very broad spectrum of an answer. It could literally be on anything. So I'm not looking forward to that. I've got about a month to revise for it. Um, but yeah, night shifts have been busy as well, nonstop. Constant issues with IT and things like that. So I'm pretty tired right now. But it'll be nice to go home and have a little break and then chill out around my parents for a little bit. Oh, it's not far into my journey. Not a good time to realise I actually need a poo. This is the sort of sharing I do with you guys now, apparently. Um, what have we got coming up on the podcast? Let's have a think. Uh, we've got a few episodes that we want to do in which we're going to uh, try and sort of sell each other some of our favourite TV shows of all time. I think we talked about it on the podcast before that we're going to do it. But what we're planning on doing is uh, like getting some clips ready so that people, so that we can sort of like sh- show them to each other and then. Um, Hopefully, the other one will actually be one of at least one show that will go away. Sneaky little spoiler, obviously, one of mine is going to be Taskmaster. Um, since Charlie, our no format Taskmaster, has never actually watched the show. He's watched clips. So, yeah, surprising. He needs to get on that. Uh, and on the subject of Taskmaster, we've actually got the new Taskmaster coming up. Uh, all of the tasks are recorded and are sent to me. Normally, I sort of like have a list of stuff to go through um, with what the contestants send me and it's quite easy to edit but I'll tell you what these contestants are fantastic on the next episode Uh, really really good stuff to the point I'm struggling to edit it because there's just so much good content yeah really really good content Um, so yeah so once I get around to it and things calm down a bit I'll get that issued out for you guys I'm ready. Um, but yeah, some good contestants on this series. We've got um, some podcasters who have actually worked with uh, Alex Horn and Ed Gamble on their podcast. So, yeah, fun. So the other week, um, we got to utilise Charlie's shed properly. Uh, it was his birthday. I don't know if he's going to talk about this, but I've beaten you to the punch, Charlie. I don't know if he's going to listen to this, so he might actually hear it twice. Uh, so yeah, it was his birthday, so we was there from about 2 o'clock-ish, and then all ended up in the pub playing Quiplash, and yeah, things got, things, yeah, 
I'm not going to say some of the answers, but alcohol was flowing. Charlie realised he wasn't funny, which is always depressing for him. Bottom of every, most of them. I think he won one in the end. I got him a um, nice uh, pub bell for last orders to, for his birthday. So that's up. So he'll never use it. It's more of an accessory, but it's a nice little thing to add in there. I'm looking forward to being reunited with my son later today. Apparently he's had a really good time at um, his nana and granddad's. He's been doing all sorts of things. He, well, he's going to think that when he gets back home, every day he needs to go out because on um, the first day they went to a garden centre after I dropped him off and then out to the cafe. To a cafe. Day two, they went to um, London Zoo. Day three, they went to an air show. Day four, they went to an RAF museum and uh, the shops. Uh, next day, because I've forgotten what day we're up to now. Remember, I'm post-night shift sometimes. Uh, next day, he went to Nebworth House, because uh, they've got a dinosaur exhibit. And then we reunited with him, and then we're going to Dunstable Downs, which is a big sort of like outdoor uh, open area. And then we're going to go to uh, Gulliver's Park, Barn Park. So, yeah, every single day doing something quite big and out there. So, yeah, he's had a very spoiled um, summer holidays. We're off to Bristol as well next week or the week you're listening. In two days' time from when you guys are listening on Wednesday. Um, so that'll be nice. I haven't been down there in, oh, God, five years? So I, I went to university at Bristol, uh, hence UE podcast. UE stands for University of West of England. Um, and yes, obviously, a lot of my close mates lived there, there. I came up to Nottingham. At first, I moved to Cheltenham and Gloucester, and then I moved up to Nottingham. I don't know if I've revealed where we're from. We're from Nottingham. Um, so yeah, moved up to Nottingham. So it'll be nice going back there since I left. Um, three of my mates have had kids of their own, all within like one or two weeks of each other. So I've met one of them, um, her and her dad came, and her mum came to visit us um, just recently, uh, but I've not met the other two yet. Well, technically, there's three of them and I've not met, three kids I haven't met. So we're going to have a dad day on the Thursday, which would be nice, seeing them all, because um, two of them have never met George either. It's difficult being an adult. You don't get to do things as often. You just go to work and then... We don't work, you're the sort out adult stuff. But yeah. I don't think I've got a lot more to tell you, to be honest with you. I wish I could be more entertaining, but geez, I'm post night shift and I'm tired. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Um, Charlie is up to the bat next. He might be a bit more entertaining. You never know, I might come back to this and try and record something else so yeah for now i'm going to speak to you guys later and hopefully soon charlie and myself will be back in the same room recording um we should have done a live episode i've always i've said this before if more alcohol was flowing i think at the weekend we might have done a live episode i think that would have been quite fun um we are going to record we've actually had a few people sort of i say request it that sounds as though they're like after looking at us or something but yeah some people have sort of want to record an episode of us so we're going to do that from the pub shed and record release them every now and again just yeah and could be a bit of fun what other ideas do you guys want us to do have you got any suggestions on things charlie's got a new hot tub so we can finally get around to doing the famous hot tub episode um we like to come up with ideas that have no plans around them but just an idea and then let it build from that I mean, like, Taskmaster started off as, like, a ridiculous one-off. And then, actually, it's quite big now. Obviously, having Alex Horn, Lou Saunders, and Andy Devonshire record messages for us. And like I said, we've got two podcast guests coming up. They're actually quite big. So, yeah, that'll be good. Oh, I hate this roundabout. I don't actually enjoy, enjoy driving. I learned to drive during um, lockdown because um, I was a key worker. We um, were prioritized for learning how to drive just in case it sort of came up and we needed to. Uh, 
so when I learned to drive slash passed my driving test despite failing for the first time on the first time um, it's because my driving instructor never told me how to actually do a hill start so of course I get a hill start in the driving exam and I don't know what I'm doing um, but yeah uh, yeah because I learned during lockdown there was obviously no cars on the road and now there's cars on the road and so I know what I'm doing now I've been driving almost two years about it might be two years already actually saying that uh yeah it is two years oh, it might be longer geez it is longer so i'm just having a realization i've been driving for over two and a half years because i learn this might be coming up to my third year driving god covid was a long time ago now it wasn't but it still feels it i think it was in the height of covid that i learned to drive this is i don't know how dull this is you guys, like I said earlier, if you wanted to skip forwards, Charlie will be on in a minute. I'm almost home, so I'm just going to keep talking. Um, so, yeah. I'm getting used to more people being on the road, but I've so, sort of say, <laughs> as weird as this say, sounds, I've sort of like learned to drive by myself with about how people actually drive because I just had to. A friend always told me it's not um, learning to drive that's difficult. It's knowing what the other drivers are doing. That's the hard bit. Case in point, that was definitely that guy's turn on the roundabout to go, but he decided against it. Oh, we're going to get him. Oh, I really wish we had some bacon at home. I could go for a bacon sandwich. That would be the perfect post-night shift treat. But we don't. My wife's going to be painting the doors when I get in because we wanted to get it finished before George comes home. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get. I'm going to just park up on the sofa downstairs and get... And then I'll probably have a little nap on the drive down to my parents. Almost home. I'm not in again until the weekend and then I've got a week off which would be nice oh I wanted to go then probably could have gone then but well oh, I'll get around this corner eventually there's big traffic jam that of course there we are do you know what else find it weird when people are sorry just because I've just seen this um they wear a face mask still, completely fine. Everyone should be free to wear face masks whenever they want. I've just seen someone driving a car on their own with a face mask on, but it just covering their mouth. I always used to see it during lockdowns. Like, number one, there's no reason for you to wear a face mask when you're on your own in your own car. Number two, if you're going to do it, surely wear it properly because you're just defeating the point. Just covering your mouth when you're on your own. It's like a catch right. You make... There's no reason to do anything you're doing in life. Just either wear the mask or don't wear the mask. I don't care whether you wear it. Just wear it or don't wear it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'd just end on a little rant there. Just I don't understand people. It, those who didn't understand how COVID works. Obviously, I worked work in the hospital, so very much for people wearing masks. But where half wearing a mask makes no sense when you don't need to wear a mask in the situation you're in anyway with that uh, i'm just pulling up into my drive so i'll speak to you guys later thanks for keeping me company on my journey i don't know how long that was it'll be interesting to see how long my drive home took oh my wife's already awake she's turning on disney plus i can see her in the window what's she planning on watching right charlie's up next i'll speak to you guys later Ta-ra. Hello and welcome to the Charlie segment of the uh, No Format podcast. I assume if you've uh, listened this far, you've uh, listened to Mike's little segment he's had um, of him driving home. A bit strange how he, he doesn't have a car and he works from home, so I don't know I don't know what that was all about. Um, but yeah, as Mike said, we've, uh, due to our very busy schedules and busy lives, we've, uh, yeah, we've not been able to meet, so we're... Uh, Instead of releasing something, we've decided to do our own um, individual 
podcast, I suppose, individual episode in one episode, I suppose. Um, so yeah, well, I've never done this before. I'm I'm not nowhere near as experienced at uh, at podcasting and uh, at rambling like Mark is. So don't expect mine to be the uh, 15 minutes length that his was. So yeah, 15 minutes. That's how long he took him to get home, and he wasn't sure then when he was uh, driving earlier. So yeah, um, what have I been up to? Not really much. As Mike touched on uh, in his bit, I sort of had the uh, the grand opening of my pub shed party for my birthday. But I think it'll be like two weekends ago by the time this comes out. I don't really know. I'm not too sure where the, when when it's released and things. But yeah, just sat in there now. So I've uh, I've added a few more bits. Mike said he got me the bell. Got a clock now and a um, like a neon bar sign, which is pretty cool. Quite enjoys it. Enjoy. I quite enjoy it. I quite enjoy it. Um, yeah, I mean, we're hoping to do a video live recorded episode, as in live, as in it's going to be recorded. We won't be actually having it live. Um, so yeah, so you're about to actually see the pub shed, and more importantly, see our beautiful faces. So yeah, um, I know it's weird to think. Right, I wonder what people think we look like if they've not seen pictures of us. Because you sort of, I think sometimes when you listen to people's voices, you sort of build up a picture in your head of what they look like. I mean, a prime example would be for me would be the Harry Potter books when I read them before the films came out. Now when I read the books, I mean, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so I've reread them lots of times, but I had a very different image of what they look like from the description of the books to how the actors look, if that makes sense. So now when I read the books or listen to the audio books, um, I just picture Rupert Grint, um, Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson. Like, I can't picture them. I can't even remember what I used to picture them to look like. But yeah, so oh, I would recommend, um, even if you're not a massive Harry Potter fan, the Stephen Fry audiobooks, really good. He narrates them all seven, I think, Harry Potter books. Um, yeah, very, very good. Like to the point where you kind of forget that it's just one person narrating because he does all the voices. And even though there's probably not massive different in the voice from Harry to Hagrid or to Dumbledore, like the way he does it is, yeah, it's spot on. Like he does a very, very good job of it. So, um, yeah, I think you can get it on, I used to get it on Amazon. Oh, what were they called? The Amazon audio book thing you can get. I think you pay monthly and you get like a token, which gets you one audio book. But I mean, the way I was listening to him, it would take me a couple of months to, to get through one book because some of them are like 20 odd hours of audio. Um, but yeah, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, been doing my pub shed up. That's really about it. And as Mike said, we've got a few things uh, planned for the podcast coming up. Got the hot tub back. So hopefully, be doing a hot tub episode. I mean, really, for an audio, well, podcast is audio, but I don't believe that. Uh, it won't make any difference to you guys whether we're sat in a hot tub or not. Um, plus, I don't think it's actually that viably good because with the bubbles on in there, it's very loud. Like you, you can't hear anything. So if I'm sometimes I have my iPad sort of on my table and I'll be watching something, but I have to have my ear, ear, ear pods in as I'm uh, doing it because yeah, with the bubbles on, it's not that loud. So it might end up just being me and, me and Mike sat in there with the bubbles off, which is kind of like just two people having a bath outside without any bubbles. So. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, as Mike said, Taskmaster episode. Um, and yeah, Mike said I've, 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 yeah, I've never watched an episode of Taskmaster. Like I say, I've watched clips, but now I feel like it's a badge of honour that I've not watched it. So yeah, I'd, but then on the other hand, I do need to watch it. I know Mike puts a lot of effort in to the uh, to the episodes. I literally just turn up and listen to the uh, the contestants and have my little say, and that's about it. So yeah, or. Uh, all credit to the Taskmaster on Mike on collating all the people and uh, all the contestants and editing them all. That's all down to him. So, um, yeah, maybe maybe someday I'll uh, I'll watch one, but who knows? Um, hmm. Yeah. Other than that, I've not really been. Yeah, not really. Well, I keep saying I've not been up to much, and then I'll say something else I did. But um, yeah, other than that. Um, Watching, started new, watching a new TV series, Manifest, if anyone's uh, ever heard of that on Netflix. A bit odd, because it's got the first series, um, and then 
there isn't the second well there is a second and third series but Netflix only have the first and fourth series which I think's a little bizarre so I don't know how we're going to get oh yeah I'm not sure how we're going to watch the second and third series but um, yeah it's not a, my review on it if anyone wants to hear it well if you don't just stop listening now for the next few minutes um, but yeah it's good it's got a bit of lost esque about it um so basically all these passengers on a plane come back from jamaica um they get into a storm anyway they come out of the storm and they land and they've actually been missing for five years obviously for them it's like they've gone through a storm in minutes um but for everyone else yeah it's been five years and obviously there's a family members have moved on and things like that so yeah there's a lot of drama and things but it's the acting is not the best quality it's quite cheesy in parts like quite sort of i'd say that sort of a typical american kind of cheesy if if that makes sense if you understand what i'm saying um but i've i think now we're about what 12 or 13 episodes in so i'm kind of invested into it now because i kind of want to find out what's caused this little time slip i think i I I still don't know i mean say we're nine episodes in and i'm really none the wiser to what's actually happened so um yeah give it a watch i reckon within two three episodes you'll you'll decide whether you like it so yeah that'd be my recommendation um i've also been doing a lego batmobile or the tumbler from the christian bale um batman films that lauren got me for my birthday which has been uh yeah, I've enjoyed doing it. I've got frustrated a few times because I've sort of not not paying attention or tired when I was doing it, and I've ended up missing like parts of it out. So I'll have I've gone back and realised like I was doing it last night, and the, the back part of it that I'd realised was upside down. So I had to then kind of take it apart, well, part of it back apart again to uh, basically flip it upside down. So yeah, and then I'll end up losing this piece because I've put it on the floor or something like that. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to do it on a little, I've got like a tiny little coffee table that my, for in our living room that I'm sort of put all my pieces on. Um, but yeah, I think ideally I need a, a bigger a bigger surface area to sort of lay out all my bits so it's easier. So so yeah, I'm on, what am I on? I'm on the, th- I've just, I'm near enough done the third bag out of 11 bags. I think I'm on about 150 of the instruction, of 150th step of the instructions or around about that of, 500 so yeah it's going to uh it's going to keep me entertained for a while so um i've done had a mclaren formula one car which i put together which i enjoyed and i've also got the oh is it the saturn 5 rocket i can never remember which one it was the 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 rocket that went to the moon basically um so yeah that's that's a good one i enjoyed putting that one together but it's, it's meant to come off in the separate rocket stages so it separates but yeah trying to separate it bricks just start falling everywhere so uh, it's currently on my kitchen on a little kind of shelf i say a little shelf thing it's like above my fridge there's a bit of the wall that comes out that it's on so um yeah i don't know i don't have a clue where i'm going to put this uh, this tumbler this batmobile because yeah i have really got two i've got my mclaren formula one in the kitchen as well which i've kind of cleared some room on a on a boat shelf for which i don't think lauren's um massively keen on that but uh yeah I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. I keep I keep making suggestions in the living room, sort of in our little fireplace, and she sort of goes, mm, "Yeah," which is yeah, which is kind of no, that's not going there. So we'll see. I want to put it in my pub shed. That'd be cool, but I'm worried about it getting broken into and someone stealing it. So um, yeah, I'm a little bit security conscious. We I had my um, hot tub stolen, so I'm on my second inflatable hot tub. Um, obviously, it wasn't full, um, but it was in my other mother shed um wasn't the most secure to be honest it they'd sort of managed to pull the door kind of apart and pulled the lock away from the door and got in so yeah they'd had away with my hot tub some garden cushions and some sun lounger cushions and my bike so got paid out for the insurance so that's the main thing um and yeah i suppose nobody likes being robbed but i know i've had friends that have been burgled in your house and i think that's horrible that well one that somebody's stolen your stuff but to like somebody's been in your personal space without being invited so yeah it could have been a lot worse so at least that, at least that didn't happen so yeah i'm a little bit more security conscious now i've got a couple of shed alarms got some bolt locks with um padlocks on as well so yeah hopefully 
touch wood, lots of wood to touch as I'm in my shed, pub shed. Um, yeah, it doesn't happen again. So, yeah, but uh, Lego, my ultimate um, piece of Lego that I would love to get would be the Lego Titanic. But it's about, you're looking about £550, maybe even more now. I mean, I've got the perfect place where I'm going to put it. It's sort of in my dining room. I'd have to ask my dad to make a shelf and put it on there. But I cannot justify spending as an adult, well, even as a kid. But yeah, as an adult, spending that much on a on a Lego Titanic. Like, I mean, God knows how long that would take me to build. That would that would be a long time. But I think the building's the main, but I'd say 80% of the fun of it is is building it. And yeah, it can be frustrating and things, but it's quite... It's quite therapeutic once you've done a stage and once you've completed a, a bag, say, and you're on to the next stage and you can slowly see it being built. I quite, uh, yeah, I quite enjoy it. So if you're looking for something to, uh, well, I say I say I enjoy it. It's definitely not for everyone. I can imagine uh, as, as I did yesterday, I was getting myself worked up and frustrated because I'd uh, put a piece on the wrong way around. But yeah, if you're concentrating and everything, it, it's good. So, so yeah. Um, well, I'll leave it there because I don't want to be rabbiting on. Not that Mike was rabbiting on, but maybe he was a little bit. Um, obviously trying to fill the rest of his car journey out. Good job he wasn't stuck in traffic because, uh, yeah, that might have been a long podcast. Um, but, yeah, thank you for listening. And hopefully we shall have something booked in, I would say, in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully we can get something booked in for the week after after this one. So we're back to our normal scheduling if you will um but yeah any ideas of anything that you want to hear or us to do or yeah drop us a uh, a message on any of our social media but no thank you for listening and i shall see you all soon bye bye (laughs) 